everybody. My name is Jeff Green. I'm here at Tokenize in Las Vegas, 2024. We're just having conversations about AI, blockchain, and Web3, etc. And I'm here with my new friend, Benjamin Tran. Uh, he's here with Interlink. I told him to wear clothing that I could just read from, so I don't have to remember. He's like, hey, I happen to have a jacket. But I will say your other jacket is way cooler than that jacket. I don't know oh. why they made you to switch. Yeah, you know, when you it, got style, dude. Well, I, I wear the jacket once in a while. They think I'm the rock star. <laughs> you Not, are rock yeah, star. Because you are. Now, listen, <laughs> before we get started and talk about business, we made a quick connection. Southern California connection. Yes. Newport being down by the ocean. Yep. There we and go. I made a joke that really you're like 105 years old. But because you live by the ocean, you look like you're like 42. So thank you. I don't know. <laughs> hi, there's our friend Joyce. She always comes in at the right moment so we can say hi to our dear friend Joyce. Hello. Well, listen, Joyce, how are you? Benjamin's become one of my favorite friends now. So Benjamin, tell us what Interlink is and why you're here at Tokenize. Well, you know, uh, Interlink is a company that has uh, very unique technologies and called anti-defect technology for uh, facial recognition and uh, our goal is to transform the facial recognition into a global digital ID or digital passport for the global citizen. As you know, uh, in the world today, uh, digital finance is um, a very big market. So, if, you know, many people, they don't have the, the ID. That's right. right. And some of them, you know, a certain percentage of the world. Are we talking about KYC, AML? KYC, EKYC. Okay. Yeah. But in, in the nutshell, um, <clears throat> we have a number of different technologies, uh, including, um, you know, f- um, the uh, face flashing technology, okay. uh, multi-phase okay. recognition, mm-hmm. uh, as well as, um, you know, the uh, decentralized data storage. So your data won't be stolen very easily because, you know, it's highly secure and uh, remain privacy with the uh, zero knowledge. Now, I'm uh, familiar kind of, uh, with this industry. Um, had a business way back when, um, kind of in this space. And what was really hard for us, this was like right back with Civic. You know Civic is. Mm-hmm. Uh, the hard part I found is using it on a day-to-day basis. You know, somebody goes to a club, of course they use their driver's license, which of course that doesn't mean anything. But there's not a lot of technology right now that's interfacing with general commerce. How are you going to roll this out to business or who's your customer? Well, I, I tell you, this is a very good question. Yeah. I'm very happy you asked me that question. Okay. So let's say, say, example, you go to the nightclub, a restaurant late at night, and you know you have a wake and you give your um, uh, credit card to someone to charge, right, uh, to pay. And then, you know, you never know, we, your, your credit card can be stolen, the, mm-hmm. the man person mm-hmm. can uh, take a picture in the front and the back, and then they can use your credit card, mm-hmm. right? And then you're done. I mean, you know, you lose money, you don't even look at your uh, bank statement, I mean, credit card statement, and if you happen to find out, you have to do a dispute. It's very inconvenient. Yeah. So in the world today, you know, if we can apply this technology into the POS, so people go, do the POS and pay for their groceries. And, uh, you know, if we had a facial recognition mm-hmm. system, so show your face. Sure. If you register with us, you know, you can link to your bank account or your certain credit card, and then we pop up and you click this one, You well, which credit card you want to pick, but it had to be verified to your digital ID. Sure. To your facial, because, you know, your facial, your face unique, yeah. right? And, um, you know, so this technology kind of combination, between the, um, you know, humanness, that means you're not a robot, and, uh, you know, uh, combined with life, liveness technology, meaning uniqueness. So, in the combination, we call it personhood. Yeah. Only you uniquely right. look like yourself. So, this kind of technology, I think, is very universal, very helpful to the world because, you know, look, the data said last year um, about $32 billion on credit card stolen. Yeah. You know, yeah. this can resolve a lot of issues. Yeah, that's right. And they talk about it at this conference, right? About how AI and uh, cybersecurity is hand in hand. We have problems with that. Yeah. One of the things I like about kind of something you're doing along the same lines, I'm sure you can speak to it just a little bit. We have about 30 seconds left, Benjamin, is 
how you control right now go to facebook twitter x whatever uh, you get monetized right we don't monetize our own data which isn't our own id which is ridiculous mm -hmm. so what's your thoughts behind that well about monetization you know let's take example in the banking system right so the bank on the average one ekyc data uh, we can charge about twenty dollars uh, from many different uh, uh, sector uh, section of the uh, the whole data so if we talk to several banks and you know many banks apply we talked about you know twenty dollar per person per ekyc data it's a lot of money mm -hmm. right let's say we tap into the country right mm -hmm. you know especially in developing country and uh, you know we got um uh, accepted uh, to apply this technology into that country, let's say 10 million people, right? 10 million, 10 million people with $20 per month. Yeah, sure. For one bank. Sure. Let's say you have five banks. Sure. It's a million dollar money. Yeah, sure. See what I mean? Yeah. That's I think you need more example. Yeah. And I think this technology is quite applicable for the country, developing country, because yeah. I think developing country has a lot of issue. Sure. Especially with, you know, with banking, uh, banking right? and, and I you know, and, uh, exactly, fraud yes. and everything. Yes. Because, you know, people can just uh, take a copy of your passport. Sure. Because every time you have to travel Asia, yeah. you give your passport. That's right. Scan. How do you know who has an information? That's right. Right. And then, you know, the passport, they can fake it with That's the right. effect, with That's the, right. uh, effect technology, but the pass passport is flat. Yeah. Right. And let's say the video of your face yeah. is uh, is flat. Sure. So with the reflection technology, we can identify it's a real sure. uh, face or uh, it's just yeah. uh, a fake. It's amazing. ID. Isn't it amazing? Technology is amazing. It's amazing. And it's done by AI. Well, and, and that's why we're at Tokenize. And, I, and, you know, we only had just a short time. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we got to meet. Yeah. And I'm glad you could come to the event. Are you having a good time? I have good. great time. Good. I'm very happy to be here. Good. Meeting a lot of people. Very nice people awesome. like you. Ditto, bro. Go get that other coat back on. Exactly. That thing's money, dude. Rock and roll engine. Exactly. All right. Well, listen, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you very for much. coming to the event. And All right. Thank you guys yeah. for listening to our little interview here. Thanks again. Bye-bye.